Welcome to FootballGamePlan.com, where football makes sense. I'm Emory Hunt, the czar of the playbook, bring you a week one matchup in the NFL between the Atlanta Falcons and the Kansas City Chiefs. Now, you look at the Falcons offensively. What I will suggest, there's no Tom Bali in this ball game, so your blind side will be protected, which means run weak side. Turner on the edge, get that weak side running game going. I think the Falcons can have some success in testing that opposite side with no Tom Bali. And on the, in the passing game, you want to attack Stanford route. I don't know why the Chiefs went ahead and signed Stanford route. I think that's a they got worse at that position. It could have kept Brandon Carr. So you can attack Stanford route. He's going to hold. He's going to bite on double fakes. So I think that's going to help out the Falcons passing game and continue to show that vertical game that you showed in the preseason. That was impressive. Going deep down the field. That's all the Falcons offense really needs is to threaten deep and they'll be able to run the football a lot more this season defensively you have to get aggressive in your coverage versus Matt Castle Castle is a guy that holds the football entirely too long stares down his target so you can get aggressive and come away with some interceptions and you want to protect gap integrity versus Jamal Charles this guy can find a cutback lane and has that speed that you that gives defensive coordinators nightmares. And I look at William Moore versus Boss and Muyaki. That's gonna to have to be a battle. He's gonna to have to win. The tight ends for Kansas City are very solid. And the X Factor for the Falcons has to be the special teams. The special teams has to show up big against KC, who has some outstanding returners and guys like Javier Arenas and Dexter McCluster if they decide to put him back there as a returner. So the special teams aspect has to be big for the Falcons. But I think the Falcons overall have a solid matchup against Kansas City. Now, when you look at the Chiefs in this ball game, they have to get creative in their personnel groupings. They have a lot of talent, man. The Chiefs are one of the more talented ball clubs I've seen offensively. A lot of talent. Personnel groupings can help you find the advantage. You can utilize two backs in a, on, the, in the field, on the field at the same time. You look at Peyton Hillis, Jamal Charles. Find a way to get those guys on the field. You have two tight ends in Boston, Moyaki. Get creative with your personnel groupings. And Castle has to take chances. The Falcons will give you a look some cover three looks, you have to take those shots downfield. You have big guys in Baldwin, another big guy in Bo. Take some shots downfield. You also have two talented tight ends. And the big matchup, in my opinion, is Brandon Albert versus John Abraham. That goes without saying. You have to keep Abraham out of the backfield. Otherwise, it can frustrate your offense. And I look at the defensive side of the football. Interior pressure versus Matt Ryan. Ryan is a guy that can, he sees the outside pressure, but the interior pressure causes him to hesitate, hold the football, and take sacks. So interior pressure, that A gap, B gap pressure is vital. And you want to beat Turner to the line of scrimmage. That's the way you stop the Falcons run. Turner doesn't have that burst that you want anymore out of, out of a running back. You beat him to the line of scrimmage, you effectively stop the Falcons running game. And don't give up inside release to those physical wide receivers, guys like Riley White, Julio Jones. Don't allow those guys inside release sports, Matt Ryan, to go over the top be an accurate passer consistently throughout the ball game. X Factor has to be Javier Arenas and Eric Berry. Those guys on blitzes are going to be vital this game. Both are excellent blitzers. I think that's where the Chiefs can have an advantage defensively by getting to Matt Ryan. Now let's look at the, the positional matchup, matchups in this ball game. I look at the quarterback position obviously goes to Atlanta. And I like the fact that both guys are very balanced in the running back situation. Jamal Charles, Peyton Hillis, you look at Michael Turner and Jaquiz Rodgers, I like that matchup. The Falcons clearly have the advantage at wide receiver and tight end, I think, is even with the Moyaki and, and uh, Kevin Boss. Offensive line goes to the Chiefs. Defensive line goes to the Falcons. I think they're both even at defensive backs. I like both of the guys secondary, and I think the special teams are both even. So this is an even matchup, in my opinion. And when you look at these two teams, contrasting style, the difference in this ball game will be the quarterback play, and I have to trust Matt Ryan in this situation. Until I see more from Matt Castle, now he can prove me wrong in this game, but right now, week one, I think the Falcons have the better matchup as far as going against that defense with no time by lead. So that's one added element they don't have to worry about. So take the Falcons in week one against Kansas City.